Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 32.5 of my Let's Play of Moonless Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. Oops. So we have a Lucifina quest, actually. We have to activate the quest by looking at it on the board. And obviously in my alias asides I didn't do all of these. Here we go. Lucifina. I want to go to snow heaven. Anything at all, I want to blow it away. Oh. Okay, so this is a Luddite village underground research facility thing as it's proposed to the Elias group. Since Morgan isn't in this group, it's just Promistine. She wants to go to the main terminal and get a bunch of data. And we'll be doing that too. But first, we're right here at Snow, Villa, Snow Heaven. Hmm, that's weird. Lucifina's is not here. Oh, surprise, surprise. Just now. No way, was that Lucifina's power? She's over there. Let's go. Whee! I blew a warehouse. Ah, Lucifina. What have you done? Look, look, Aiden. It's interesting, right? More like, cool. Lucifina, you've done a horrible thing. This house is empty and that's good, but... It's very hard to build a house. This is something you... This is... Like then. Lucifina, Aiden has come to retrieve you. This was a time when Lucifina was the elder sister. Anyway, Lucifina says, Aiden, what have you done? Lucifina, please return to the heavens with... Look around you, Aiden. Uh, yes, I looked. Not a... Uh, Aiden. Are you unable to see the broken house and the suffering people? No, I was able to see them. But I don't know the meaning you're trying to say here. No, you don't see them at all. Ah, Lucifina. My head. Don't step on my head. Hey, Lucifina is crazy. So, do you know how hard it is to build a house? And seeing these people suffering, you don't think anything, do you? If people are broken, are you. Does that. Just because these people are broken, does that mean you, you're angry? In that case, request the Elias, then she can make new ones. You don't see anything. Ah, uh, don't step on my head. I don't know what you're trying to say. Don't tell me, Lucifina. Breathing the dirty air on the surface world, you've lost your senses. Ah, uh, Lucifina. What are you angry about? Well... I finally noticed, Lucifina. You're doing the same thing that angered me... That ang... I... No, it's... You were angry for the same reason I am now. going around destroying the works of people without even noticing. I was so foolish. You finally understand? This girl is... That's... But... 
My head is broken. Lucifina, you broke my head. I'm sorry, Aiden. I'm going to fix this house. Well then, I, Aiden, will help you. I may not look it, but I'm good at building houses. Okay, I'll go get wood and bricks. Lucifina. Ah, Lucifina. If you run, you might trip. So, Lucifina gets dexterity 40% up. Aiden gets a speed 40% up. And you finally understand achievement. Unfortunately, Lucifina leaves our party and I have to come back here and get her back. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Alright, Promistine. That's of the Ludite village. I've got one more thing I need to show. I better not forget it. So, Promistine wants to go to the main terminal, so we have to go all the way to the bottom. Something about mysterious data she wants to download. So here it is. So this large quantity of data, we really don't know what it's for, in any case. She's going to take what seems important, and put it on a handheld device. Hmm? You guys. What are you doing here? You're Morrigan. Thank you, Elias. Oh, it's an ambush. Oh, no, no. Today I don't feel like punching it up with you guys. I came here to investigate this facility. This is the main terminal, huh? I see. Mm -hmm. So she starts operating the terminal. Yep, I don't understand this at all. You don't understand it. Hey, it's not like we understand everything about the parallel worlds. Everything we do is kind of groping around. Yeah, furthermore, I'm totally bad with computers. The stuff in this research facility, I completely understand not one bit. Well, I wasn't expecting much out of you anyway. I'm going to be copying these problem files now. But why is there all this information? If we can decrypt it, maybe we'll get a grasp of something here. So, Monergan also, and your sisters also don't know much about this place. I thought you would. Hey, don't say that. Even so, we're doing our best over here. Since waking up in this world, we've been, it's been a succession of trial and error, you know? Since waking up in this world, you say. Didn't you come from the world where the devil had triumphed? Uh, that is... Huh... I wonder if it's okay to tell you. Hello, hello? Are you listening, Big Sis? Sorry, I let something slip. So then... Mm-hmm, mm hmm Oh, I can tell them everything I know. In any case, I don't know that much. Ah, that's mean. 
So that's how it is. I got permission. So what you want to know is how we came to this world, huh? Yeah, that's been bothering me all this time. The ones who can pass through the Tartaros to other worlds should be Luca and Mar, Mar eh, Luca and Marcellus only. Yeah, that's true. That's why we didn't pass through the Tartaros. Then there's another way. The door that separates the parallel worlds. Even gods can't pass through. So, the devil thought of something. To use the soul network. The soul network. That would be the repentance meeting system. Right. When the soul separates from its body, at that time it goes into operation. By the way, you know our objective, right? To massacre all the humans in this world and using some technique on the soul network to draw the souls into the devil's world. And those souls go to the same person in that world and fuse and union with them. The parallel world's same person. The two parallel worlds, two people become one kind of thing. That's right. And by doing that, we can guide everybody to our... everybody out of this world. So everybody's going to be unioned, united, with their version in our world. So we were talking about how we came to this world. That method was using it the opposite way. Hmm, I see, so that's how it is. If you use that method, you can come to this world. Hey, how do you mean? In this world as well, this world's Lilith sisters also existed. They failed in the Holy Wars back then, and the three of them were kept in a seal. Ah, what gives? I'm supposed to be explaining here. Probably from the Devil's world in order to come to this world. The little sisters in the Devil's World chose to die, or isn't it? Wouldn't it be? It's a little different from suicide and all. You have to do it properly so that the soul is pulled out of the body and do the preparations and stuff. In any case, the, the little sisters had their souls pulled out. In other words, there's no other way than to die. And the place where the Little Sisters went is to our world. To the three sisters in our world who are sealed. And they united with them. In other words, into the physical body in our world, the Little Sisters the souls of the Lilith sisters from the other world came in and took over. Well, take over and union are different. We from our two worlds fused together and became a perfect single existence. Well, a complete single existence. So it's more proper to say that I'm not the Devil's World Morgan, or rather, a union of the Morgan from the Devil's World and this world. So, when you kill humans in this world, they get sent to the Devil's World, and to come to this world, you win in reverse. Yeah, that's right. The two worlds the us from the two worlds became completely one. 
It's not about which one rules the other one. Is how it goes. So I, as I am now, have the memories of both worlds. And, furthermore, my personalities are completely integrated. So using the same method, you're taking everybody from our world and guiding them to the devil's world. Well, in this world, that means cutting you off from your physical body. Or killing you. And people would be opposed to that out of fear and rejection. So naturally, we understand that. But we're the first ones to actually take the method. The fact that we exist here, in this world, is proof that it's a safe method. Hmm, well, that's true. In any case, Elias says, How repulsive! With that, you're twisting the truth of life. And there's one thing I'd like to ask. If it should happen that the parallel world's version of oneself is completely different, what happens? Yeah, yeah. For a while, at first, you'd have a split personality kind of thing going. But eventually, your spirit would integrate. How about if your physical bodies are different? What happens? Suppose one side is an adult where the other is a child. Hmm, we don't have many examples like that. Wouldn't they kind of go to the center? You're just guessing. Hey, we don't have a lot of samples of what's happened. Maybe if you had a lot of magic power, you could exist as two separate physical bodies. But in any case, ultimately what should happen is you'll be unioned into a single form. After all, the worlds themselves were all one at once. Once upon a time. Uh, well, anyway, let's return to how we came here. In truth, the way we came, we three came to this world was actually a bit of trial and error as well. So we've been doing our best since we got here to try and open a gate back to the devil's world. If we could, then things would be easy. So, my sister's been doing something like magnetic fields and particular points and space-time factors and wave frequency kind of sort of stuff and setting things right with magic power and then taking magical field interference and doing this and that so you basically don't understand the principles behind what they were doing your two older sisters have been trying to connect in this world and the devil's world. Yeah, yeah, about that. But it didn't really go too well. A freely passable gate in the end seems to be impossible to produce. On this side and on that side, doing all that we can, Tamamo was able to come for a short duration, but only her thoughts. That's about how much connection we can get. Her thoughts could pass through. So, the, the Tamamo we saw in Grand Gold wasn't a, an actual body? Yeah, well, that's a little bit different. Tamamo, no, Tamamo is a monster that is really great 
at uh, the interplay and manipulation of thoughts and body, thoughts and physical bodies. So since she came here only as thought, she was able to form a physical body from that. Even amongst the six ancestors, ancestors only Tamamo would be able to do that. And of course, even that had a time limit to it. She can't exist as a she can't exist as a physical body in here for all too long. And the Tamamo on this side as well had a time limit on her full power, as it seemed. Maybe the way it is is that Tamamo is just that type of monster. Ah, that fox. These various weird techniques. Jeez, what an unpleasant monster. Helios, all monsters are too unpleasant to you. So, we were able to pass through the dimensional gate after a fashion by that means. So, do you realize how important you guys are? That you can just simply open those gates? Hmm, why is it that I have this power? Okay, I have another question for you. Those Seraphim from the world conquered by Elias, how do they come here? Yes, that... I'm unconvinced about that point as well. In Esto, we saw Sia come through... Sion come through the Tartaros. Those guys from that world are able to freely open their gate. I don't know how it works, but they have completed some system like that. A system that can open the gates? That's way too convenient. Yeah, it is too convenient. We have to go through all the hardships to do what little we did, what little we got. It's just unfair. The devil, t the devil has said that this system can't be built in our world. No matter what, one of the core parts doesn't exist in our world. That part or whatever, we don't know what it is, but, though. In the goddess's world it exists, and in the devil's world it doesn't some part. I wonder what it is. Well, that being how it is, those angels can simply and easily cross between the worlds back and forth. We already can't return to our world, and it's so hard for us to even communicate with them. It pisses me off. You can't return, you say? Uh, that's right. Your body on that side is already gone. Yeah, that's why we came to this world with the preparation that we wouldn't be able to return. And like that, differently from the people we send to the Devil's World, our bodies are already dead over there. Oh. So that means that... Yeah. So, once all the humans and monsters have been sent to the Devil's World, we three will remain here and be destroyed along with the world. No way. Yeah, I didn't know you girls were that committed. Well, that was the plan. But, there's a way for us to be saved. It. That's Luca. Your existence. 
If you're hurt, you can open up the gate, and we can go to the Devil's World, just like that. Ah, what's up with that? It's totally a, we're breaking the rules. So, that being the case, cooperate, uh, cooperate with us, okay? Whether you save us or not is your decision, after all. No, you will not be saved. This is... Ah, I didn't even notice even though she got so close. As usual, pesky woman. Oh, hey, it's all my Emma. I finally found you, Morgan. Sorry, but... Your life ends here. Alma Elma. That's right, you were chasing down the three sisters. Yes, that's right. I've got some payback to pay to these three. Heh. <laughs> what an obsessed woman. Fine then. I'll be your opponent. What? I can't? Okay, okay. S shut up, sis. And don't scream in my ear. Jeez. Mm. My sisters say I can't do it, so... Until the time of decision, we can't make any big waves. With that being the case, bye-bye. So, she disappears like the wind. You aren't going to chase her. Well, she too is about the same speed as myself. Trying to punch her down, she'd just run away. Hmm, so she has to stand and fight for you to actually win, huh? Well, rather than following down this little revenge side of you going, why don't you work for the greater good? Oh, my, oh my. Come along with us. If you do so, the time will come when you can settle matters with the Lilith sisters. Hmm. Actually, that's not a bad offer. But... I'm not the type to obey anybody weaker than myself. Hey, we as we are now are are pretty not weak. So, why don't you become our ally? Whether you're stronger than me or not, here and now, why don't you show your power? Well, of course. This isn't a play. This isn't playing. You're a hero and you're fighting me. I'm not the type to hold back. There's no need for you to hold back, Hall Naoma. We're going to show you a power that you can obey. If you should happen to lose, don't think that you're getting away with your life. I'm a succubus. We drain every last drop out of the loser. Hey, it's a serious fight. We're also going with all our might. So then, I'll test your preps, or I'll test your will to do this. As the Queen Succubus, I'm fighting you with all my power. Not too bad. Hey, it's our victory. Yes, I lost. So, as promised, you're going to be obeying us now. Of course, you have no objections. Well, I fought as the Queen Succubus and I lost. I, as the loser, have no qualification to or disobey you. So, that being the case, let's have fun, Luca. Uh, okay. 
Well, succubi will be succubi. And now we have all my Alma in our party. It's not great. She's got such full and well-rounded facial expressions. Hmm. But to accept this filthy succubus, I've gotten pretty mellow, haven't I? Elias, no matter what time, no matter the time or circumstances, you're overflowing with love. <laughs> uh, Aiden, you are a moron. Alright, so let's continue our adventure. Promistine, have you gotten that data copied? Yes, the necessary data has been copied. If we can get the analysis completed, we may be able to understand something about this research facility. Laplace Protocol. Hmm. What is the true nature of this data anyway? Laplace Protocol. That's... Who knows, honestly. I got one more thing to show. That's right. We got that card key in the final... in our trip back to the past in Remina. And there's one place we get to use it. Well, two places. The first was over there in those ruins. And the second is right here in this Tartarus. Let's see, it's a couple of screens in. You may recall there being a door in here that we couldn't open at the time. It requires the card key as well. So, door is locked. There's a card reader right next to it. What's a card reader doing in a place like this? If you don't have a card key, this door won't open. Card, huh? How about we use this? Wishoosh. And that's the whole story. In here we find an Apotosis Dogma. This is a race-changing item. Maybe it's got some connection with the Apotosis? So yeah, let's go to the job change shack. I don't think I have any Apotosis that will actually be able to do it. And I'm not gonna look, am I? Apple. Here it is. If you get a low-class Apotosis to level 10 and have this item, you can change to this. Whatever it is. Probably high-level Apotosis? Well. So. That's all the post-game we have right now. There's going to be more post-game. Toro Toro is going to be resisting version 2.20 sometime in the new year. Maybe January or February 2018. And I will review that. Let's play through that when it comes out. But for now, that's all the content we have. So thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.